today we're going to be interviewing one of the most talked about acts in Mauritius. I mean, he has put the Afrobeats vibe back again in Mauritius. And if you haven't been to any of his shows, I don't know where you have been. So today we're going to be talking to Perion. Hi, Perion. Hi. Hey, hi there. If you guys do not know, we we do say we're friends. Because yeah. since he became a celeb, he just he abandoned he abandoned our friendship. We are friends and business partners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, um, I want to ask you what I think almost everybody would you know be asking. Okay. Why did you decide to do music? Music. Um. Why I decided to do music? It has been like a thing with me. It's like more than a passion it's part of me mm -hmm. yeah since i started i have e my everyday life music growing up in, in the musical family my brothers play instruments my the, some of them sing yeah so i work i even sang in the church choir too so okay. i'll thank them for giving me the platform because i got like the courage to, um for singing to people from the church because i've always led praise and worship i've sang for um, I've sang, I've led teenage choirs, yeah. I've sang in big congregations, so I have that courage to sing in front of people and entertain people actually. So, mm -hmm. so I want to talk about like your biggest song. Um, I feel like your biggest song is Majesty. Okay. Uh, the, do you think that's your biggest song or you think... According to the statistics. The yes, it's the biggest song according to the statistics. Yeah. Which one? Um, Royal Majesty. Royal Majesty. Yeah. Okay, so what was like the thought process behind royal majesty okay royal like majesty. how long did it take you to make the song okay um the idea of royal majesty came um in january 2019 mm -hmm. that's when it came and i was listening to something online and i just came up with the with the hook of that song apart from that royal majesty i had like my ex i used to say my name like royal majesty <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Apparently the song was about her. I wrote the song in trying times, like I was not okay and I was kind of trying to be okay. Mm -hmm. So the song is about her and other people. <laughs> uh. Real majesty word from how I see that contact. Then okay. I recorded the hook. I even have the hook still in my phone. If, even listen to it, you don't like the song again because it's like it's rubbish. Mm. The hook is rubbish. But I came I had that idea, I knew what I wanted. Then I recorded the song in june during the lockdown mm. uh, in 2020. 2020 yeah so yeah. that's when i recorded the song and it took us just 30 to 45 minutes okay so me and my Bad. producer you know him joe Bax, we were in the studio around 3 a.m in the we almost did not record that song because we were sleeping by 11 o'clock 12 he was like he's tired let's just rest mm. and we slept till like 3 a.m and i just i just woke him up okay let's walk and it was cool everywhere was raining so um he started creating something else. I even recorded it in my snap. Yeah. So it was the tempo of this of that one he was creating was cool and it was like I don't like what I'm creating. The environment is cool and I want something yeah. vibe. I want hit. So I now told him, okay, look at what I recorded since. I don't know if you like let's just listen to it. So I listened to it and I was giving him the tempo. This is how I want it to go. So he was like, Okay. He, he now started making it how I wanted it. Yeah. You understand? And it was as how he was making it that's when I was coming up with the lyrics of the song. So I really, I only had so really had the yes. And, 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 and I was like, <laughs> chill my mouth, I can't play for you, but mm. you're not going to let it out. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically answered my other questions, like when was it recorded? Yeah. How long did it take? Did you think that that song would be as big as it is in Mauritius? Mm. I, I mean, like, I mean, in Nigeria as well, I know some radio stations have played your songs. Yeah. But do you think it will be as big as it is in Mauritius? More. Well, I need to be big, but I don't, like, I didn't it, visualize how big. Because I knew that the song is great. Everybody will have played the song for it. Like, this song is really dope. What did you guys do? How did you guys do it? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I just sang my feelings in this song. Um, one question I wanted to ask, which is not on the list. Okay. Um, I've been to one of your shows, the mm -hmm. last show you had, yeah. and it was nice. Like, I mean, a lot of new artists do not put in so much effort into, you know, having like a proper live performance. Mm -hmm. So what was like the reason behind it, first of all? And because I know you practice a lot mm -hmm. with your band and everything. So 
why exactly do you put in a lot of effort into doing live performance? I mean, you could just come and then play your songs like every other person. I feel like um, being a musician and being an artist, there are different things, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because um, an artist, you can just record song and that's it. But a musician, you t them look at Two-Face, look at D-Band, see how they perform their songs, mm -hmm. live music, and that's where you see the real music. And that's why you feel the real music. Yes. And in life, you can have another idea. Life, you express yourself. You can do different things in life. But in playback, you just have to sing according to what you've sang in the studio. Exactly. In life, you can freestyle. You can do things. And, and uh, like another thing, I sang in the choir. I like instruments. Mm -hmm. I cannot play any instruments, but I love music. Yeah. Like, I like live music. So, and it, sometimes we almost did that, that show, a playback, but I was like, no. I want life. So we did a lot of, they were like, we are going to stress ourselves. I said, I don't mind. It's me that will stress myself. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind. Let's do this thing. We did, like, I, I had, I fought with a lot of people just because of this life. Yeah. And they were like, we are not prepared. I told them that. Leave it for me. I Take mean, it was a good experience because everybody who came for the show enjoyed it. Mm. So, yes. I love live music, actually. It just, it brings out the real music. It brings out flavor in music. You can do different things. You can add and remove even another thing and you can play around the lot yes of you can play with people you can entertain that. people that's you can entertain people mm. when we perform the nakupenda song in the life yeah that's when we now change the beats from that one to the new one that you're hearing now oh that's not the real it wasn't beat. the original beat yes it's from the life and it was dope so you see it gave us another idea yeah you understand? So life is very very life is entertaining and I, and I love live music mm. let me see live music before people start <laughs> so one thing i would ask is you know there are like mauritian artists in yeah. mauritius are you willing to work with mauritian music artists? yeah um there are some things i'm not allowed to say but maybe i'll just say this one we you want to drop it like it's hard <laughs> <laughs> um yes it's to come like a surprise we had the contract to work with um, in Mauritian Nazis, actually, um, last year, 2020, yeah. so we're still waiting for the contract. It's someone's project, mm -hmm. like project for someone. So you want me and another Mauritian artist to work on it. Okay. That's one of it. Another one, uh, um, I have like Mauritian artists on my EP. The oh. remix of like your EP Unison. isn't out yet because no, I was going to ask when are we expecting the EP? It's coming out in May or yeah, in May. Which is really, really soon. Okay. That's why we are working hard. And apart from that, we have I have another work I'm doing with another Mauritian artist okay. for one of his songs. So, yeah. And that work we have never done. After I'm going to the studio, actually. Either this afternoon or this night, we're going to work on it. Because okay. we have been sleeping on it for like two weeks now. Okay. We know that the Nigerian music industry, I mean, when you are in Nigeria, it is... A bit difficult, difficult to try. Yeah. So, would you say you are a bit lucky because you are not there per se? And then, how would you see? How would you say the music industry is here in, in Mauritius? Mauritius? Okay, so um, I just feel like destiny cannot be denied. Mm -hmm. It can be delayed. You understand? But if you if you're destined to be big anywhere in Nigeria, in America. South Sudan, in mm. Libya, you be big. That is just the mm. thing. I know that it will be very difficult in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but outside Mauritius, it's easy because I, f I, I have. A Let me not say I have a studio, but I have a studio, and I don't have to pay big money to record. Anytime I want to record at my own pace, I can record. In Nigeria, you have a lot of competitions. Exactly, it helps you to grow, but it helps. It also discourages you if you're not, if you're not strong. Mm. You understand? So in Nigeria, it will be difficult, and it will be. It will also help me. But here in Mauritius, it's difficult because their sound is different from ours. Do you understand? And when you make this music now, you have just limited number of people that will understand Afrobeat. Maybe African students, East African students. I mean, the yeah. thing is, music is universal. Yeah. And it doesn't... I mean, a lot of Nigerian artists mm -hmm. don't even sing in English. And then yes, that's another problem. A lot of people, language exactly. because most of my songs now, I try to put it in English, English language because I understand that I've understood that from my catalog from where people view my music from. It's not mostly, mostly not even Nigeria. Yeah. You understand? So 
you see other Europe, you see East Africa, you see um, US, you see Canada, most of these places, even Mauritius to a lot of them. So Nigeria is not, okay, Nigeria is one of the top five. Yes. You understand, but Absolutely. I understand that. <laughs> I understand that how I see myself. I don't see myself like just someone like, um, I want to be big in, Mor in Mauritius, like in quotes. I see myself like I'm making music for Africa. Still. One last, one last mm. question is in all of your songs, mm. um, even the recent one, Nakupenda. Do you write your lyrics or how do you? I write all my lyrics. You write all your lyrics. Okay, do you mean if I write it by myself yes, or by if someone writes for me? If someone writes for you. Okay, I write all my lyrics by myself. Some of them are uh, vibe, like Nakupenda was a vibe. Most of my songs, I, uh, I've written them in the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> I, know like someone, I know someone that says they get their inspiration yes, from. Yes, yes. Even Bra <laughs> Brandy gets his, his inspiration from the toilets. <laughs> yeah, Obianuju came from the toilets. <laughs> no, let me not say came from the toilets. The inspiration, the inspiration. Yes, was gone from the toilets. Nakupenda too. I had a different hook for Nakupenda. Hmm. But because of, um, let me say, um... The friends I now made that period, or people I started hanging out with. Inspired. Yeah, like I met, I had some new East African friends, and I just, and also I love the fact that they appreciated my music. So I just wanted to give them something they would like. Yeah. Understand? So they they could vibe too, instead of just real majesty or Bianuju loving. Or Bianuju is Nigerian yeah. language. Yeah. So how could East Africa too, or other part of Africa, vibe to like, Peru? Yeah. yeah. So I gave them Nakupenda for them. Yes, so, so at the end of the day um are we going to have an ep first or another show first which one is going to we're be supposed first? to have a show on the 27th of march yes yeah but because of the lockdown we couldn't yeah. so um yeah we'll have an ep first because you know that even when we come out of lockdown we'll not be allowed to do shows or parties for like one or two months mm. but ep will come out in two months yeah yeah so yes yeah, um an ep first before any show okay okay so we'll be expecting your ep and hopefully your new play your new songs yes. in your concert and so. we work with a lot of new people and a lot of new people not only from nigeria oh okay uh, yeah so other part of the world okay all right all right it's your boy Perry up on this again and I'm chilling out with um Theodosia. Don't forget to stream my new song Nakupenda, keep it locked down for the EP and follow me on all social media platforms so that you can get new vibes, new updates, what we're doing this what we do in the studio, Snapchat, um, Instagram, Twitter, at Perion Official. Keep it locked down. Cheers.